know, Mommy and Daddy, why you got a kiss here? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Molly, and this is my Animal Crossing Challenge Part 34, is it 34 or 35, I don't know, one of those, anywho, um, we are here at the Romance Festival again, yes, yes, they decided to have another Romance Festival, and I was hoping to come find the alien plant, because in all my other games, um, I, yeah, swear to you, seriously, in all my other game, I, found this plant in the romance festival but today since I came here to look for it it's not here like just because this is the game that I play to collect all these plants it decided not to give it to me I I'm just saying because it doesn't like me or maybe different romance festival uh, gives out different plants you know what I mean because we did have a romance festival before and we forgot to check so maybe it did have have it then who knows but anyway so but we did find a plant remember that plant in the last part I was like what is that plant I want to know it's the bird of paradise a flame tip flower known for its avian characteristic they they take flight during winter months ba -bum -bum. so we actually found a new plant here though so it wasn't such failure you know what i mean y'all know you know and um so yeah here we are at the romance festival we brought miko with us so you know because this is where we met her so we want to we want to come here with her to show her our appreciation and our love. But you know what? I want to go buy a t-shirt. Just just because. Buy a romance festival t-shirt. Let's do this. Since we're here. Um, Lorena decided to follow us. I don't know if this happens in anybody's game. But like whenever I go somewhere. Like for a couple hours. Another sim will pop up. Another sim from my household would just automatically pop up. Like, I don't even make them come. Like, I didn't even click here and say, bring blah, blah, blah here. No, they just automatically pop up. So, I'm just like, okay, you want to come? You, you go ahead and come. I don't know if this happens in anybody else's game, but it happens to mine very often. I'm not even kidding. But I think Lorena decided to follow us because, you know, she, she was like, um, that she was going to a romance festival. I better follow her because she probably going to go find some love. And that's right, girl. I don't know why you're following me. I don't want you in my life anymore. Where's my girlfriend at? Girlfriend, where are you? I told you to come and you're, you, you disappeared on me, girl. Why am I always looking for somebody at these festivals? Like, um, does she... Disappeared? Did she go home? Miko, my love. Miko, this is not funny. You better bring your booty on over here. <gasps> you know what? We should totally kiss Miko. Yeah, it says she's here. Huh. It says she's around here, but um, we should totally kiss her in front of Lorena. Seriously, we should totally do it just because I want to be that evil. So Lorena stopped like flirting with us and trying to, you know, make all our feelings confusing. So we should kiss Miko in front of her. Like if we can find Miko. I don't know where Miko is. Miko, Miko, where are you? Let's go talk to the romance guru though. She might tell us something interesting today, you know? Ask, ooh, yes. Ask her about the current relationship we have right now. And then ask her about wisdom while we find Miko. Wherever she went. Oh, you know what? I thought about it. I was like, can we click right here? Yeah, yeah, we could do that and she might pop up somewhere. You know, last time when we came to the romance festival, it was a glitch, and they were stuck over here, so maybe she's stuck. Oh, oh, I'm so good. Look out of this. I was right. She's stuck back here. I don't know why this happens so much. Like, it's only in this game. Like, 
all my other game, I go to the romance restaurant, and this doesn't happen. It's okay, we could kiss her back here, right? Nobody would ever notice. Okay, let's come rummage through this trash, and then... Mika, where you going? Oh, oh no, this is... I see. Oh, that's the oddest destiny. Well, don't make any plans. <gasps> what is that supposed to mean? Excuse me? What is she trying to tell me? Like, my relationship is not going to work? Like, I better not make any plans of sticking with Miko because something's going to go wrong? Uh, what? Wh I, I just don't get it. Like, seriously? Oh no, she's feeling uncomfortable. Why? But I love you. Why you feel uncomfortable? Please don't. Offer her a massage. Then she's feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, my love. Um, the the guru lady just said that our love is not gonna last. I'm just like you know. So let's let's make everything worth it while we're at it. Who knows? You never know what destiny. I just realized our outfits. <laughs> it's so cute. We got matching outfits. Well, sort of. It has been super crazy the past few days. I was heading down to the park to relax. Do you want to tag along? Oh, that's so cute. That's something new. I've never seen that before. Sorry, Mila. If nothing was going on right now, I will say yes. But I'm hanging out with my girl, so I'm sorry. Oh, we should have totally said yes and took um, Miko with us. Let's throw her some pebbles. I mean, pedals. Throw her some pebbles. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Throw some pebbles at her. What the heck? <laughs> that's like a me. Somebody like, I'm gonna throw pebbles at you. That's that's pretty funny though. Can we make out with her back here? Like, you know, you you know, like uh, back in the days. Like, I don't know if you guys still do it now. You know, behind the club, you go and make out. <laughs> totally. Back in the day, so he's just telling you how old I am. I'm not even that old, you know. I'm just gonna turn 30. It's not really that old, but I just feel like so old, you know what I mean? Like talking to the youngins. He of the moment proposal. <gasps> no way! I do not know there was such a thing. I don't think this, I don't think we should do this. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to do it in a way for some reason. Oh no, she feels sad. Why? Romantic doom for speaking with a romance guru. The romance guru has informed the chief that her romantic destiny is filled with challenges and hardship. <gasps> oh my gosh, poor the chief. Is it because Lorena is going to come in between us? You know what I mean? Like, is that what it is? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It, it sounds like it, right? Somebody is going to F up somewhere. The cheer. Are you gonna go back to Lorena? Is that what it is? You better not. I'll be so mad at you. Miko is so cute. Look at Miko. <coughs> but Miko do live with her crush. You know what I mean? Miko do live with her crush. So what if Miko is the one that's gonna go after her crush and forget about the cheer? Oh, oh no! I'm just like. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all these possibilities just making me so sad. Girl, where are you going? Where are you going? Um, hello? Hello? I don't know what she's doing. She's gonna go karaoke? Like, you look, see, because she has nothing here. Okay. No. Your singing's horrible. I know this song. This song is Star Spreading the News. It's New York. Isn't that what it is? Oh, look. Miko decided to come in here, too. Maybe we should sing with Miko. That'll be so cute. Let's sing a duet together. Country. Uh, with a nanny. What? No. We want to sing with Miko. Why can't we sing with Miko? That's weird. Why? Why? This is so weird. Why is she our only choice? I know Mika could sing because she was serenading us. I know she can sing. I want her to sing with us. Mika, sing with me. Look at her. Look how cute she is. She is so cute. Look at her. <laughs> yeah, if uh, something goes wrong with this relationship, I will be so mad. Look, the chair is so cute too, you know? 
Look how cute the chit is. Like, seriously. She doesn't have that pretty vibe. She has that, like, really cute vibe, you know, like that. Yeah. You guys know. You guys know. And why is somebody honking out in my front yard? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, this sucks that we can't sing when we go. I will. The, vis the festival will end in one hour. Finish up any activities before it closes. Be sure to come back the next time. The festival is in town. We didn't even get to make it out. And that's what I'm trying to say. You know, you know, you know. Because it's a romance festival. I want to make out with Miko. Oh, what the hey? We should have like make out booths. Seriously. That's what make that's what those closets are for. They're for make out booths. <laughs> they should have those at the romance festival. Just to have makeup booths, you know what I mean? Where are you going, girl? Or where are you going? It's like she's trying to avoid me or something. Everywhere I go and try to talk to her, she'll walk away. It's like, um, is the romance guru right about something? Like, okay, why do you keep walking away from me? Seriously. I'm just kind of like, um, hello? Let's go see what Lorena's up to, you know. She, she's she been around. Whoa, Lorena. What is this? Use a bold pickup line on someone. Can we use it on this guy just to see? I don't know. And then she wants to... Ooh, okay, forget it. I think those two are together. <laughs> Let's not try to flirt with them because we're going to start some drama. Yeah, she wants to woohoo in a bush too. She is. Yeah, she's totally feeling it. Um, who should we go flirt with? Who is this? Who are you? She looks familiar. Who is her? Oh, is she, um, the garden gnome lady, the, the, the head club. What's her name? Oh, Mor Mor Moria. Yeah. She looks cute in this outfit. Why don't they put her more in cute clothes? She wear kind of like old lady clothes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's throw petals at these two lovebirds. How about that? Since uh, we shouldn't be using makeup line in front of married couples, throw petals and throw petals at this lady too. Throw petals! Yay! Miko's over here eating. Left us all behind while we're just talking to. Ooh! Who is this other lady we're gonna talk to? Miko, since you dissed me, maybe I'm going to have a new girlfriend. Maybe I should find somebody new. <laughs> maybe that's it. My relationship with was supposed to end because I'm supposed to meet Zoe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so weird. Um, Flatter. This chick is not bad herself, too. Alice Spencer Kim. I think she's married, though. I don't know. Yeah, that's compliment art because look at her tattoo. Her tattoo is looking... Cute. She's pretty cute too, did you? You wanna move um from your old relationship to a new one? I'm just saying. We should go home, you know. You know. Can we light the fireworks though? I wanna light fireworks. Let's go light some fireworks. Oh no, the fireworks disappeared! Hurry before it goes away. Oh, oh, I can't light it now. You know what? You know, you know what? Oh, she's gonna go light it. She. I didn't think I could do it, but I guess they're letting me do it. Yay! They're letting me do it. Oh, they still took it away though. Seriously, that's so mean. Why are you gonna burst my bubble like that? Like you're gonna let me do it, but then you're still gonna take it away. Okay. That is so mean. Anywho, let's go home. Let's come give our girlfriend a kiss. And then let's go home, wherever she is. Girlfriend, where are you? You totally diss us, and now we can't find you. Wow. Maybe we shouldn't give her a kiss. Maybe we should just leave because we're mad at her for leaving us. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, she left us at the bar. All by ourselves, and now we found new people to talk to, so whatever. And this guy's like totally flirty, he wants to flirt with us. No, oh, look, Evelyn is what's wrong with her? 
Oh no, she's getting hungry. Why are you and your daddy taking care of you? Huh? Why isn't your daddy taking care of you? He's at home. He should be taking care of his baby girl. We should take Aveline to go visit the twins. <gasps> yeah, I think I'm going to do... Oh, there's our lover. Whatever. Bye, lover. <laughs> but yeah, I think we should take baby Aveline to go visit her sisters. You know what I mean? Because I think that's only right. The sisters has to meet. Yeah, I think that'd be cute. Let's go visit the sisters. Woo! That took a day and a half to load. Seriously. I don't know why this game takes forever to load, but it doesn't glitch as much as um, Homeless Baby Challenge. Homeless Baby Challenge, oh my gosh, it slows down, it glitches, it just does everything. It's so annoying. It's just so annoying. But anyways, I think Zane is off tomorrow, today, tomorrow, today, whatever. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> So, we won't be able to go visit the sisters. Maybe probably in the next part, like, after work, we'll have him go. But, um, I think I'm gonna go to work with Andrea, just to see, you know what I mean? So, I think I will see you guys when Andrea goes to work, because I really want to go to work with Andrea, just because. So, I'm just gonna play off-screen for a little bit until Andrea heads to work, okay? Okay. Okay, you guys, I realize that it is Sunday. It wasn't Sunday night. It was Sunday morning. I'm I'm so special. So we are going to take Zane and little Evelyn to go see their family. Look at her. She's just like playing in the plant. What are you doing, little one? What is she doing? What a cutie. That is so cute. She's just like digging up the plant. Did you want to learn how to plant too, like your daddy? Is that what it is? Okay, we're going to go see the girls, and I will be right back when the girls are there. I'm just saying, when the girls, what? What am I just saying? When we get to Zane's family's house, that's one. Okay, we are here. Oh, look who came out to greet us. Helen. Hi, sweet. While the other one is watching her mom use the bathroom. Okay, that was really awkward. Um, Let's come and give her a hug, you know? She came out to greet us. The least we could do is hug her. Where is she going now? She's like, hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. She's coming back inside. That's so funny. Why the little one is just making herself at home. She's just like, I'm going to go. Oh, 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 oh. She's going to go. I don't know. Go where? Go poop. You know, like sometimes kids, when they're little, they usually go and hide in a corner to poop themselves. Should we just let her wander around since it's the family home anyways? Where's she going? She's just going right there to poop. That's so cute. Hi, girls. <gasps> Did your mama go cry? Is that what it is? You miss me that much, babe? Do you miss me that much that you got to go home and cry? Let's compliment her. Oh, they got embarrassed because... Okay, I remember because she was um, she was in the bathroom watching her mom use the bathroom. Okay, I remember now. Um, let's, no, trying for a baby, because we already got three babies, so, let's not do that, uh, let's, um, give her a kiss, where is this, kiss, no kiss, kiss, try for a baby in the bush, a uh, dang, maybe we should let the kids hang out, and we should go woohoo in the bush, somebody stinky, yeah, hello, um, meet your new daughter, uh, yeah, you like your new daughter, oh, shit, that's so cute. She's like, ew, mom and daddy, why you got a kiss here? That is so cute. Oh, she's so excited. She's like, I'm so happy that you have a daughter, too. Now you know what I go through with two. That's funny. Oh, what is she asking her daddy? She's like, daddy, can I get a new toy since you don't really visit anymore? Here comes the other one. Are you finally coming to see your bad dad? I think she's like the tomboy one. I'm not even kidding. Oh, look at this one. Such attitude, Evelyn. Seriously. Such attitude. Um, your daddy needs to change your diaper. Why are you getting mad? Yeah, she's getting mad because her diaper's dirty, yo. Why are you getting mad for changing her diaper? 
Like, seriously? Oh, we're just gonna change. Look at this one. She's like, ew, dad, why are you changing her diaper right there in the middle in front of everybody? That's just gross. Why are you throwing a fit? No! Why is she throwing a fit? Toddler tantrum. Disobedient toddler. Oh, what to do? How does th how does one convince a toddler to do anything? Such defiance. Oh, why won't the tantrum cease? Please, someone help. Yeah, why are you throwing a fit? What is your problem? Don't want to from being defiant. No, no, nope, nope, no. Nobody can make me do it. Um, your dad was just changing your diaper. So what is your issue? Like, seriously? We're gonna lecture about misbehavior. Yeah. You don't throw your tantrum here at your mom's house. Or anywhere, I should say. Yeah. You tell her, daddy. Oh, now she wants to give daddy a hug. She's like, I'm sorry, daddy. That is so cute. That's that's too cute. Look how cute she is. She's like, oh. Oh, she's like, I can't help it. I'm an alien baby. Um, sure, that's an excuse. Why don't you go play with your sisters? Don't they have toys or something? No, they don't have toys. <gasps> what kind of sad day is this? They don't have toys. You are a horrible father. You don't have toys for your girls. This is sad. Call over. Why can't we just... You know what? Let's let's just go in the house. Um, Go and sit here. No, no. Don't sit together. Just go and sit here. Go sit here. Just go see what your sisters are doing. Because your mama and daddy wants to go do stuff. Okay? <laughs> Go. They really miss each other, okay? So you go and do your stuff. Yeah, just just sit there. Look how much he miss her. Oh my gosh. He wants to flirt with her. He wants to shower her. Like seriously, he hella miss his wife. She gonna go get food herself in the fridge? Like seriously? They can do that? I wanna see. I wanna see. Even though I, I want him to go woohoo with her in the bushes. Look, we're just like flirting in front of the kids. The kids are probably like, ew, mom and dad get a room. Like, seriously, woohoo in the bush. I want to see what this little one is doing. I think she's going to go to the fridge and get her own food. What? She decided to stop? No? That's so funny. Can she do it? Oh, she's going to go grab her daddy's chips because her daddy's going to go spend time with her mommy. Well, it's not really her mom. Her stepmother, I should say. Okay, maybe we should just go woohoo. Since maybe we can't go into the bushes. Yeah. She's like, yes, I miss you so much, babe. We should totally do it. Why wow, the girls just spend time in the bathroom? Okay. Girls, why do you spend time with your sister? Like, seriously? That's sad. I want them to spend time together. I want them to get to know each other, you know? Because they are sisters. Hello? I wonder what happens if she goes into the room while her parents are like, yeah. I just want to know what the kid's reaction is. But she wants to eat, so let's just leave the parents alone. Yeah, so we're gonna just eat chips, even though the parents are not gonna come take care of us. I mean, not parents, the kid, the, the the siblings are not gonna talk to us. We just spend time not alone by ourselves while our parents are getting their freak on in the bedroom. <laughs> what is she doing now? Where are you going, little one? Oh, she's gonna put her plate away. That is so cute. She's so adorable. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys like this part. Thumbs up if you guys do. Subscribe if you guys haven't. And I will talk to you guys all in the next part. I hope you guys had a good Super Bowl day. But, um, yeah, you guys have a good day, good night, wherever you guys live in the world. And bye, guys. She's just dancing away. That is so cute.